Remember, we learned our pentatonics, right? Sometimes I forget that, that that E is there because I'm too eager to warp over when I really should be thinking pattern. Okay, top of an S3S, yes, S2L, bottom of an S3S, yes, warp over, middle S3S, yes, top of an S3S. Yes. The top two is R2. And then you <laughs> hit the B. Be all you can be. All right, so um, where are we? This is hopefully the last segment <laughs> because this is a tough subject and I've been working on it all day. Um, there are some rules, but they're really not, it's not necessarily that you, you know them right now. So we can skip this. This is like the fine print, okay? Here's the easy, easy minus one rule. You want to play in C minor. You play a scale up to its fifth of G. Okay, you know. Okay, so you go. Right? It's just like, you know, a classical or something. So you go up to its G. So you play a scale up to its fifth. Subtract one. Five minus one is four, right? And then add the four to the minor relative. Okay, let's say that, what minor relative was it? All right. Let's say in this in this instance it says say Dorian two to get four. Remember we subtracted the we went up to the G one two three four five or we can go zero one two three four and not subtract anything. I like the minus one rule. I like to call one, uh, the first one a one, even if it's a minor. It's a relative minor, right? One two three four five going to add 4 to whatever relative that C minor is. Let's say it's the second of, here's B flat. Here's C minor. Remember B flat will go. And then uh, the, the half diminished B flat one. I'm not sure I want to try to get that one right. But I, I think it has something to do with, um, it's like a D minor, okay? Remember, the half diminished is the seventh, uh, the second, the uh, fourth, and you can do the minor, okay? So, you know, it's, it's a lot like an F7. It's a lot like a D minor. It's like a D minor and F7. It's like a two, uh, it's like a three minor okay and a uh, five seven that's what the half diminished you could substitute things like that and you'll see that in music you'll see play an f7 there uh, instead of play a b flat half diminished um, third inversion or something like that anyway <clears throat> so if you are playing in D in B flat is the parent key, but you're playing a C minor, all right. So it's five minus one is four from the one two three four five, and then minus one is four. Plus we were playing. Let's see, and you are playing D the fifth. Right. Oh, this one says you're playing. Oh, okay, sorry, we weren't on this one, were we? <laughs> That's how I get messed up. That's why I say the chart is right, this guy is wrong. All right. Up here, you're playing the Dorian to get 4 plus 2 equals the 6th of B. In other words, that G is the 6th 
of B flat. You know? You know, from Bohemian Rhapsody. That's the sixth. So there's a rule to get these things, but guess what? You, you really don't need it. Well, I will be working on how to work this rule into the patterns and keep them easy and keep, you know, keep the music going. But right now, it's just so much easier for me. If I'm doing that C minor, all right, remember one thing. That C minor could be one of three minors. And this is important theory. Whoa. This is important theory. <laughs> That was important theory. All right, we're at the other chart. Okay, control, not shift. They would have a not shift button. All right, so there's three minors. There's the Oelian, Oelian bloopers embedded in the body of this video. Dorian and Phrygian, okay? Let's look at the Aeolian is the easiest minor. It's C minor as the sixth of E flat. Okay. The Dorian is is C minor as the second of B flat. That's the one we just played. Okay, so that gets you, you know, you go um, C minor whole half to an E flat. Uh, let's see, he mi C minor whole step to the D. Half to the B flat. Remember, the B flat's the fourth. Uh, the E flat's the fourth. And now, B flat. Okay. Then a whole step to the F, a whole step to the G. All right. And it would also be a whole step to the A because A is a leading tone. So that's this kind of a minor. Remember. So there are different minors. The, the minor for the Dorian, which is the second one, okay, as the second of B flat goes like this. You, f you simply follow the parent scale as you're going up. So here's the parent scale. Here's the Dorian minor. All right. Now, if the parent scale is down another whole step which would be a flat sorry a flat there then a c flat as the third of that a flat sounds like this so you hear the difference okay and then finally as the sixth of e flat Okay, so that's interesting. And as the sixth of of of, B, of E flat, you get the fourth. You get the A flat there. As the second, you don't get that. So there's three different, you know, kind of types of of minor. Okay, but guess what? Our discussion, our discussion can cover all the modes. So whether it's a minor or whether it's the uh, fourth or the fifth dominant, the fourth Lydian, the fifth Mixolydian, or the seventh Locrian, it, it's still the same thing. You start on that scale degree, let's say of the, of the seven here, you're going to call the seven a one, then root of the parent key is going to be flat two, etc., etc. Now, when you see these flats, this is as if on the piano, as if you were you were to play a major scale. It's always saying a that flat is relative to the major scale as if it was played. All right, that that's what I can tell you about that right now. We're gonna have more on this in the next lesson. So. Good luck to you.